Hi it's Mates from My Life Mates, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I thought I would do a flip through of my Hobonichi Techo. This is the uh, Hobonichi Cousin in the Avec style. So it is for half of the year from January to June. And I thought I would share with you what I have done so far. It's, uh, yeah, it's been okay. It, it hasn't really been stressful or anything like that. I don't know why, but I tend to keep several pens and pencils clipped onto the pen loops here. I usually have some washi tape samples and things like that stuck in these pockets. I don't really use the monthly view. In the past I've used it to keep track of the Hobonichi challenge so I might do that in the future. Um, and then in the weekly view I've been just writing, just writing. <laughs> very very simple and easy. And I've been really enjoying that because in the past I tried to do like the traveler's notebook style uh, where I would just write little snippets but I've actually been enjoying this just like a gratitude uh, each day and it's been working out great so far. So let's start off with the first page here. A lot of the printables and things you'll see from Courtney Diaz Little Raven Ink. And there will be snippets of like uh, packaging and the Hobonichi challenge as well. Panda Express, which I was totally shocked. I've never seen Panda Express here in Japan, but we, vid we visited a out an outlet mall type of place and they had one Panda Express and I was like, yes, let's go. <laughs> I've never actually had Panda Express in Canada. I don't even know if they have it there, um, but I've heard of it. I guess people talk about it and uh, yeah, very happy to be able to have like a North American style Chinese food. <laughs> uh, this mall also had Dean and DeLuca which is really nice. The last time I had Dean and DeLuca was actually in New York during our honeymoon. And uh, yeah, I just write headings and things, um, a stamp that we took from a science museum that we went to, that's the ticket there. This is part of some packaging for 2020 and then you can see like the Hobonichi challenge as well. Uh, more of Courtney Diaz, her lovely, lovely doodles and claw sheets. Again, some Hobonichi challenge prompts and things like that. Oh, this, uh, this is the first day of daycare and um, preparing like their sheets and things you have to write down their name and the teacher actually asked me to sew on the patch um, for their name unfortunately our iron was broken um, in Japan they have these like uh, the fabric where you can just iron it on and I was going to do that instead of use take out my sewing machine and sew it down obviously sewing it is a lot more sturdy and it will last a lot longer but I was really in a pinch for time and I just, I just wanted to take out my iron and just kind of um, iron it on like the patch and it was broken my iron is broken I still haven't purchased one I, because I don't really use it so anyways I ended up doing the hidden stitch for the the name name badge and I don't know <laughs> I was just really nervous it was like a really um, nerve-wracking beginning of the year for me more of Courtney Diaz um, wrote about the bushfires unfortunately uh, gratitude makes sense of our past brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow too often we underestimate the power of a touch a smile a kind word a listening ear, an honest compliment, or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. Wow, I wonder who wrote that quote. It's very, very good. Um, <clears throat> more of the Hobonichi challenge, some packaging as well. Um, so now that I have my kids in daycare, we have this line chat. Line is kind of like WhatsApp. Um, it's an application for chatting purposes and there's a chat for the parents for each individual class. Um, there's a chat for just the moms and then there's a chat for the parents. And it's so I have 
four chats because I have a younger, like a, I have a daughter and a son and it's just really, it's a, it's a huge hassle for me and I'm really, like they message and I have to take that message and then put it into Google Translate, see what they say and see if I can reply back. It's just a huge hassle. So for the most part, I don't really reply back unless I really need to. Um, but anyways, we watched our first movie ever in the theater. Uh, this is my son's first ever movie and my daughter's first ever movie. And um, we watched Frozen 2. And unfortunately, they they didn't have the English version uh, until later that night. I think it was 9 p.m. and that's way too late. So we wa I watched it in Japanese and a lot of the times I missed the jokes and things. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. Let your past inform your future and nothing more. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Ipudo, we went to Ipudo for the long weekend. Ipudo is um, a ramen chain. I think there's, I wonder if there's one in Toronto actually. I'm not sure, there might be one. It's really, really good. I really like their uh, free moyashi, the, what's it called? Bean sprout? Soy bean sprout? Anyways, it's really, really yummy. And the cool thing about this place is that you can order extra uh, noodles after the fact. So let's say that you eat your ramen and you're still hungry and you still have your soup base left. You can add additional noodles after. I met up with Eva and Esther. We went to Traveler's Factory in Nakameguro, which was so, so nice. We went to the city bakery, which is really within a distant, uh, walking distance from the shop. And I had one of these really delicious bakery pastries. It was very, very good. Um, and I just took one of their brochure things. There's a city bakery in Minami Machida now too, so. What a beautiful thing it is to be able to stand tall and say, I fell apart, but I survived. I really need to start writing the author. I don't know what's wrong. I usually write the authors down, but anyways, um, we did an Instagram live here at Loft. And that was fun. I'm trying to do more lives, but it's just hard to come up with topics to talk about. I don't know what to talk about on the live. So, um, anyways, it's cold. My kids. Oh, these are the gifts that we received from Eva. And another message from Eva as well. It was a, I think it was the first snowfall. I'm not sure, but there was a snowfall in Tokyo on um, this day. You are the universe expressing itself as human for a little while. I think I've um, written this several times in in my Hobonichi in the past, and this is also from Courtney Diaz. We went to the exhibition. It was a huge fail. Not a lot of um, things to find, unfortunately, but it was a good experience to actually be there. Um, I think I talked about these spreads. I I believe I did a journal with me session with you on camera. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I remember talking about like the pizza and stuff like that. So I will link that down below of uh, the video. Um, packing the boxes almost finished. It's a huge, huge difference with the extra set of hands full time. It's I cannot say the amount of different. Like I. I would stay up until 2 a.m., 3 a.m. working on the shipping labels and printing and it's just a, a lot of work um, doing it by yourself and just having that extra set of hands has made a huge difference. <laughs> so I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, this is from the Bugmu Joshi Haku that I attended in December and I decided to just kind of stick that in there. Um, they did a meet and greet at the daycare. I really am, I'm a huge, Mm, I, I don't like social events really I get really nervous and I really like to just stay home but uh, yeah I, we have to meet these parents and it's nice like these parents we will be I don't want to say lifelong friends or anything but we will probably be um, we have to talk to each other for several years from now on like now that we've moved here and I don't see us I don't see ourselves moving anytime soon um, I don't know if the primary school will be similar but if it is similar then these parents are the people that I'll have to interact with years to come so I forced myself to go and fortunately my husband was there with me 
Um, I don't know what, I would be a wreck if I didn't have him there. I think I would just be really, really nervous. I think it's just because the language barrier and I'm not very comfortable to, I'm not very comfortable speaking in Japanese. I mean, I'm not comfortable speaking in English as well, like in social events. I, but anyways, yes. Um, if you want something new, you have to stop doing something old. That's right. <laughs> this is from Courtney as well. Um, Kobe Bryant and the family members and the other family members as well. Somebody wrote a letter about this or like a post about it on Facebook and it was, I don't know, I was bawling after I read it. I don't know why. It just really touched my heart so I wrote that down. Uh, rainy and cold, a beautiful postcard here that I received. Uh, the stamp from the stationery selection box, January's box. Uh, this is also from Courtney. My, <laughs> I don't know, our neighbor, she's a sweet little old lady and she, I was walking the kids home from daycare and then all of a sudden she popped out of nowhere. I don't really speak to her but um, my, I, to I talked to my husband about this and he said he greets her in the mornings. Um, but anyway, she just popped out of nowhere and she's like, oh, do you want these toys? <laughs> It was one of those, uh, it's like a, uh, a piggy bank. It's a, it's a piggy bank with a mirror. So when you put the coins in, you can't really see the coins drop in. I don't know if that makes sense, but it was one of those ones. It has a clock in the middle. That was for my son. And then there's a little plush toy for my daughter. Uh, it mimics what you say. It's very loud and annoying to be honest with you. Um, and it was brand new and she said I just found these in the house uh, I don't my my grandkids are in university so they don't they can't really use these toys anymore and it was just really nice of her to do that um, so I drew, drew, drew that in there it was a very warm 17 degrees that's a very very rare and here's the mask the issue with the shortage of masks and Unfor fortunately we bought masks from Costco a while back, like a huge pack, so we we're okay. These are the kanji that were used in the stamp from the stationery selection from Life at 30 something. Beautiful, beautiful stamp. And so I had to put that in there. Like it's just all these beautiful words incorporated in the stamp. So I have a sore throat, but I think it has to do with allergies. Uh, I'm not really too sure, but anyways, uh, this is the start of February. This is more of Courtney Diaz. These are beautiful washi tape uh, from the Panda Bear Mom. She sent me some lovely uh, washi tape samples, and I believe the artist is Maruko Art. Uh, they're so pretty though, like they're very nicely sized so that you can cut them out and stick them in. And uh, more of the Hobonichi Challenge there. Yes, another daycare event, very, it's such a hassle, but I know I have to attend. Um, you need someone who can inspire to be what you know you can be. Yes. There are some pictures from Kawaguchiko. We went on a trip there, like a road trip. I think it was the long weekend, is it? I don't remember. Uh, Setsubo. This is just a picture that I took. This is like a printer error, but um, this is how exactly my morning starts. I have my toast. I usually put peanut butter and maple syrup or peanut butter and jam or something with my coffee. And there's usually a toy or two on the table there that I picked up from the floor. <laughs> this one is a uh, a mask. Um, on the Setsubun day, they kids uh sorry the mask the oni i don't know how you say it, the devil these guys here come and then you're supposed to throw uh, mame which are little beans and you're supposed to throw it at them to kind of shoo them away and you're supposed to bring in good luck you're supposed to shoo away the bad luck in the house something along those lines um, and then when you eat the um roll the maki you're supposed to angle it a certain way. It's supposed to be for good luck, I believe. I'm sorry, I'm really not 100% sure. And I should research this before I talk about it. But um, my my husband bought 
one for two dollars on the way home there's like a sushi place on the way home and I guess they were sell selling them out it was later at night so they were trying to get rid of them and it was actually really good I'm usually not a big fan of well, I mean I'm okay like I, I like them but I'm not a huge fan of them but this was actually really really nice and fresh this is from the Hobonichi challenge I think Grace she asked me if I've tried a uh, Vegemite before but I haven't um, it sounds interesting <laughs> with it says B vitamins but this I did freehand I just wanted to see if I could do it it's really not that great but I at least I tried and this these two again are from the Hobonichi challenge I've made a five minute Friday video about this spread so I'll link that down below and also these ones are from the faux memo video that I will also link down below I really need to stop working at night it's just really difficult when you have your own when you work from home and you have your own store and shop um, it's very easy to just kind of quickly check emails before bed and it just kind of takes way too long so I need to set boundaries <laughs> I'm getting a little bit better with not answering emails on weekends because I really want to spend the time with my family so I've made note of not to do that but it's really difficult to ch not check emails on the odd times but I think I'll leave it at that I have some pages but I still want to kind of finish them off you can see I've kind of free washi tape some of the paper here but I'll leave it at that for now I hope you enjoyed watching this flip through if you would like me to continue with the uh, flip through though maybe you do one every several months or so I'm, I'm not too sure how exciting it is but uh, yeah if you want me to continue to do them just let me know and I will see you soon thank you so much for watching bye bye